Hello and welcome again to the Arm School programme. Today we've got some really exciting news and that's the launch of the new version 2 microbit. Now this comes with some additional enhancements and functionality which we'll talk about in just a second. Okay so let's look at what's new on the version 2. So what's instantly recognisable is the new notches at the bottom and this is what makes it most recognisable as the new version and these were added in so that it makes it easy to connect crocodile clips uh, across, the, across the larger pins as well as so that you can tie on uh, conductive thread um, easier to it and this is going to be a really really welcome feature to a lot of enthusiasts um, because attaching crocodile clips to the pins is principally what you do uh, and this will stop them from slipping around and this is something that I noticed with uh, when playing around with robotics projects where you're using all the pins um, is that uh, sometimes when things are moving around they'd slip off and touch other pins which uh, which is never good so this will make it easy to use which is great another new feature is a um, additional LED just here. You can't really see it because it's not lit up, but it is a microphone shaped um, LED and uh, that tells you when it is receiving sound and you obviously need some blocks uh, to, to make it recognise the sound and that's coming from the microphone on the back, which I'll get to in just a second. For this demo, I'm going to have to whisper because I programmed the micro bit to, uh, when it hears a loud sound to show a face, you can see the microphone is listening because the microphone LED is lit up. So now I'm going to raise my voice and you can here see that the, uh, the face has appeared on the screen. On the back of the micro bit, you will notice that there is uh, some, some, well, there's a completely different layout. Everything is sort of moved 45 degrees uh, anti-clockwise, and um, there's some additional hardware features on here as well. Um, you might notice straight away there's an additional LED, so that's a, um, a power LED. Uh, there is also the this big thing in the middle here, which is a new feature, which is the speaker, which allows the microbit to make sound independently without having to plug things in, which is a welcome addition. And this down here, this little gold thing here, is the microphone as well, which allows the microbit to recognise sound. And there are some new blocks to show how that works, and I'm sure this will be extended uh, further as well. Also, uh, new features is the now the Aerial is um, is now exposed so you can see exactly where it is So here's a quick demo of the new touch sensitive uh, Microbit logo so you can, I've programmed this to when you press the logo it shows a smiley face There we go now one change uh, with the new micro version 2 is the new editor so there there is a new version of make code and uh, also the micro Python editor and uh, both of these have a new uh, type of hex file called um, a universal hex file, which is slightly different and also slightly bigger to accommodate the the new features of the microbit. Now, all of your old, old code will still work on all your old microbits and your new ones. It's just that if you want to use the new features of the microbit, you're going you're going to have to um, uh, export them from the new version of MakeCode. Although it is, it looks identical. It just has some some new blocks. If you do try to use one of the old hex files on the new microbit, um, you will get a compatibility error, which is this uh, sub face 529 error. Uh, and to fix that, you just simply have to drag your old hex file into um, the new version of make code, and it will then convert it into the new universal hex file. For those interested in the new hardware features of the microbit, it has a new Nordic CPU, which is more powerful. It also has uh, twice the amount of uh, flash memory, and also uh, eight times the amount of uh, RAM. It also has obviously the microphone and the speaker, which we've already talk, uh, talked about. It has a dedicated uh, I2C bus for peripherals. Um, it now uses Bluetooth version 5 as opposed to version 4 previously. Um, and it also, one of the bigger, uh, well, more interesting features is that um, it has 200 milliamps uh, available for accessories rather than 90 milliamps as it had before. Um, it, it's the same size and it still supports the same languages, etc. I'm really looking forward to seeing what new blocks come out on MakeCode for the new Microbit version 2, especially around uh, using the microphone and potentially some machine learning and even artificial intelligence applications uh, on the Microbit. For example, I could imagine there being some sort of voice recognition uh, over and above the uh, sensing loudness, so it could even have some sort of model around recognising commands that trigger other functions and blocks of code within MakeCode. Your purpose is to educate kids about computer science. Now that would open the door to all sorts of interesting activities that you could do with the microbit and uh, really start to get into machine learning, uh, AI and uh, further AI IoT applications. So the future is really exciting. 
Thanks again for joining us on the Elm School programme. And please, if you haven't already done so, check out our teaching and learning resources, which are all microbit based on arm.com forward slash schools. Uh, we've also just launched, uh, with, and there's a link to this in the description, our new MicroPet version 2 resources, which have been updated with some of the things you've seen in this, uh, in this video. Please also check out the MicroBit site, because I'm sure there's going to be some wonderful stuff there to accompany the launch of the version 2. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching, and please like and subscribe. <laughs> Thank you.